All right, y'all. So we about to do a Valentine's Day set, and um, we about to be using. Oh wait, I forgot the intro. Hey y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know how to do all that fancy <laughs> editing, so I did the little rewind sound with my mouth. A little, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Riley, is your mama not crazy, girl? <laughs> <laughs> girl. So we're gonna be using um a powder from two oh my gosh y'all this is why i never have time to edit my videos because y'all gonna hear kids in the background all the time like it's just so ghetto like it just so ghetto <laughs> but we're going to be using a powder from two cute no supply it's called everyday nude it's the first time i'm using this powder and then we're also going to be using the, a clear from Not Polish. And let me tell y'all, this is my new favorite clear. I've been sleeping on this for so long. And it's so crazy because I've had a big jar of clear from Not Polish for maybe like two years now. And I've never used it, never opened. What you mean? I'm like, girl, don't be trying to, don't be trying to check me, girl. <laughs> Most deaf telling the truth. Mind your business. But yes, y'all, like, this is my new favorite clear acrylic powder, y'all. If y'all haven't tried it, try it, please. Then I'm also going to be using some of these hard sequin glitter things that I also got from my um, brand ambassador package from 2 Nail Supply. So I'm actually really glad that they put this in my package because it went so well with the look that I was doing. And also with the gel liners from the polish, the colors, it's like they match perfectly. Like they wanted me to do this set, which I did. So, um... Y'all, I'm not usually a person that usually gravitates towards matte top coat, but for some reason, um, I just felt like this set would look so cute with, you know, the nail being matte and then having that reflective gel outline. Like, I just thought that would be so cute. So, that's what I did in this video, and I'm actually really glad that I did. Girl, why is you smacking? Why is you smacking all of my videos? <laughs> You is ghetto. <laughs> You're ghetto.
But for the most part for this set, each nail is pretty much the same exact thing that I'm doing. Oh my gosh, it's like she'll be quiet and as soon as I start talking to do a voiceover, she just get crazy. Like she's on my back, jumping on my back, doing all that. Like why? Riley, go find your mother. Go find your mother. Go find your mother. Betty, go find your daddy. Where is your daddy? <laughs> Bro, this one girl think I'm playing with her. I'm about, about to get kicked out the room. What's funny? What the hell was in the food you just ate? Because you got all this energy. Y'all, I figured out what it is. It's because it's her nap time. She knows it's her nap time. She always do this, especially at night times. When she knows it's time for her to go to bed, she it's like she just get a boost of energy. Knowing she be tired, but she just turned into like the Tasmanian. What do they call it? Tasmanian devil. That is her. She is she is him. Yes. So now after I kind of like ombre down that new color, I'm going to start adding these hearts to the nail. And I'm not doing it in like no particular pattern or anything. I'm just slapping them holes on there until I'm satisfied with how much um, glitter is on there. And I'm also going to be layering it. Meaning like once I put down like three, four, five pieces, I'm going to go ahead and add like a very thin layer of clear acrylic. And then put some more glitter on top. That way it looks like they're stacked on top of each other. As opposed to just like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, make it look like it's layered instead of just being stacked on one layer, if that makes sense. So, it just gives it that effect that they're like floating type stuff. So then, after I'm satisfied with the placement of the glitter and how much glitter is on the nail, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to encapsulate with my clear acrylic. And again, this is a not polished clear acrylic. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, my brush, it is a size 10 panda brush. Y'all, I was a little scared using this brush for some reason. It's like the brush was just so big today, y'all. I don't know what it was, but the brush was big as hell today. Like, real big. And I don't usually use this brush. I usually use my number 8 Kiara Sky brush. So that's probably why, like... There's a huge size difference like this brush like I was about to go change my brush up and I'm like you know what let me just get used to using this um because you know I'm not gonna learn unless I get out my comfort zone and you know so and also y'all let me know how y'all feel about this a lot of people Riley you're gonna drop off the bed bro they say like the tip of the nail is supposed to be like I can't even talk because this girl is going to come up. Oh my gosh, Lord. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Okay, back to what I was saying. They say, no, you were just watching a tablet. Do not start that. Just because, y'all, I promise y'all, like, I cannot make this up. She was literally sitting down watching her tablet. And as soon as I start talking to edit my video, she, like, like it's like a switch turns on inside of her and she just come bother me but anyways um what was i even saying oh how do y'all feel about this a lot of people say that the, the tip of the nail is supposed to be like credit card thickness and y'all know a credit card is very thin okay like do y'all feel and i'll be seeing like a lot of stuff like a lot of people who post their nails and stuff like that nobody in particular just like in general like i see a lot of people like the tip of the nails is never thin like not saying it's thick but it's never like thin it always has some type of thickness to the tip of the nail so do y'all really do that like do y'all really make the tip of the nail like real thin or like what do y'all do because me personally i don't like it too thick but I don't like a credit card thing. Like, that's a little too skinny for me. Like, that's a little too small for me. Like, it just got to have a little bit of thickness onto it.
I'm so in love with this clear acrylic. Did I tell y'all that already? I, I think I told y'all already, but literally, and I'm so glad um, I have two of the big, big jars and two of the small jars so I can always refill because I really do like me a secret. I'm sorry, but I'm probably not going to buy you again, sis, because yes, not polished definitely has some really good clear acrylic. Just the consistency. Like, I just love it so much. Like, do you guys see how smooth this powder is? Like, it's probably no surprise because not polished, you know, they typically have really good powders. But, like, I'm just real, like, impressed. Like, I can't believe I have not tried this any sooner. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. I feel like this blue one has to be my favorite one because just the color is really like bright, vibrant, and then the gel liner that's in this color right here is so beautiful. And you know what's crazy y'all, what I was going to do at first was I was going to actually do this same exact design on this set. But instead of like ombreing down the nude, I was going to do like um, a French tip where I do the French, the little smile line thingy with the um, with this same nude acrylic. And then for the French tip, I was going to do the glitter and then the clear. But... I changed my mind because I'm I'm not good when it comes to doing French with acrylic, nor am I good when it comes to doing it with gel. But I'm like, I really wanted this set like to look good, so I didn't want to attempt to do French and then it came out looking like shit. 
because it would have been literally like a waste of hour and a half or a waste of two hours or however long I think it took me like an hour and a half to do this step and bitch would have been real pissed like but I do need to practice doing French with acrylic though because yeah I just need to practice but okay pay attention to this now y'all do y'all see what I mean when I say having it look layered and stacked I don't know like if y'all could really tell on camera but I was going for that type of look like the hearts was floating so and I've also been seeing this trend go around on Instagram where it's like they do like a glow in the dark type of effect where it looks like the nail art is like glowing in the dark where they will basically put down a white they would draw what they're drawing whatever say if you're drawing a heart you would first draw the heart with the um with the white gel and then you were going with like a jelly type of color and outline that white and then you would go in again with the a white and outline that again in white and of course you're going to care in between each one but i just thought you know it just looks so cute so i probably do a set using that type of I think I've, the first person I seen do it was, um, what's her name? Not Polish Thou Theo Thou They. Y'all, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm so sorry, but yes, her Not Polish T H A O. Um, she was the first person I seen do it. Maybe like a couple years or like two years ago. Really, I saw her do a design with cherries, and I just thought it was just so cute. But I'm just not recently starting to see it like pop up all over my feed and stuff on Instagram so I just think y'all don't find it so crazy how stuff would come back in trend but it's stuff that's been around for like years like years and years and years and years like that's just so crazy to me Like y'all tell me this don't look really good for just being application only. Like I'm real proud of myself. Cause what I period, yeah, okay. So now I'm just gonna take my five ouch, Riley, why are you picking the hair in my legs? Ouch! Bro <laughs> Y'all excuse my laugh, but this little girl about to get kicked off the bed. She's literally pinching me all on my legs. 
But anyways, y'all, I'm about to be using my 5-in-1 drill bit and I'm going to seal my cuticles. I'm not really going to do too much because it's not really much filing that needs to be done. I'm also going to take my e-file and I'm going to go along the sides of the nails. And just because this is a pop-off set, I don't want to have to go in too heavy with my hand file and then they pop off because... If, you're, if you do this, the pop-off method, then you know. You know how annoying it is when you're filing and the nail pop off and then you have to put the nail back on. Like, it's a headache. So, I try my best to be as gentle as I possibly can. And also, you guys, what I started doing with my videos, because I actually, I have a video that I edited already. Not this one, it's the next one. And I started leaving my application in real time so you guys can actually see like how long it takes me to do my nail she's jumping on my back. And also you guys just a quick little update I'm gonna say this now while I can because my husband is sitting right here next to me I no longer have this 5-in-1 drill bit because Riley Webb lost all my stuff so I'd really like to be reimbursed for my stuff please and thank you And y'all, I did this um, set yesterday, exactly on Valentine's Day. It wasn't a Valentine's Day set, but she got pink and white. And it was like the cow print design. It came out so freaking cute, and I'm so mad I did not record it. Um, but I will post it as a, um, a short on YouTube, so you guys can still see how good it turned out. Like, I was real surprised. It was the first time I was doing that design. So, very proud of myself. It came out real cute. So this is what I meant when I said I was going to take my file and go along the sides of the nails. So when I go with my hand file, I really don't even use my hand file because the nails be popping off. It's just so annoying when I have to put the top coat, the cuticle oil and all that back on my nails just to stick the nail back on.
do y'all see that like the file is barely touching the nail but no one is gonna know how will they know so y'all let me know if y'all rather me leave the videos in real time or y'all like it sped up um i don't know the only reason why i be speeding up some parts of my video is because it takes so long like hours for these long videos to upload to youtube like it takes so long you already have to wait like an hour or so an hour two three a couple hours for it to upload to youtube and then you have to wait another couple hours for the video to actually process so it's a long wait time so. So after I'm finished with all my shaping, I'm going to go on with some alcohol. And this is just a quick little like glimpse of how the nails would look if I were to do them glossy. So either way, it still looks nice, but I feel like it looks better matte, especially with that reflective glitter outline um, with these nails. So I'm just showing y'all how they would like. Yeah, the front of these legs were cute. So after I'm finished showing off these nails I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna top coat all of these nails with my not polish matted and then I'm gonna cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds and I'll be back So just if you're interested, this kit, it's the Neon Disco Gel Liner. Um, it's not the regular Disco Gel Liner. This is the Neon Disco Gel Liner. Um, so I'm just going to put the green to the green, the orange, orange, blue, blue, pink, you know, and so forth, so forth. I'm just going to do like a little outline. And these are really reflective. Like they are so reflect. Like when the flash hits them, yeah. it's really nice. Shut your ass up. Do y'all hear him? He just want to be heard. He wants to be heard so bad. Him and his daughter. They want to be in my video so bad. They trying to get clout off me. <laughs> Babe, you trying to get clout? You and your daughter. See what I mean? She's the biggest clout chaser. Her right there. The biggest, biggest, the biggest, the biggest clout chaser.
I'm not a fan of orange, but this actually turned out really cute. As did all the nails turned out really cute. Okay, so this is the blue I was like, it's just so pretty. I was just thinking about this too, not too long ago. Are we going to skip over St. Patrick's nails or are people really going to be doing some St. Patrick's Day nails? I want to know. I'm curious because I've never seen a St. Patrick's set of nails. No one is talking to you. I don't need no ad libs. Riley, I don't need ad libs from you either. Do y'all see why I don't be uploaded like that no more? Because I have thing one, thing two, and thing three. Actually, thing three, thing one actually don't yeah. don't give me no problem. <laughs> My son is so calm and so quiet. You haven't heard him not once. But who do y'all hear? Riley. And who else do y'all hear? Her daddy. It's them. They don't know what they would do without me. Like, it's just so crazy. Like, they can't go two seconds without me. Right, foodie? Right, babe? Right? Y'all are obsessed with me. Right? Cap. Um, this pink doesn't exactly match the glitter, but it was close enough, and y'all get it, okay? Because the nails are matte, the pink don't really show that well. Anyway, so... <laughs> So after this nail, I will not be top coating you guys. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds and that is all. You guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you watch this whole video. Which I'm pretty sure y'all don't be watching because my background be ghetto as hell. Okay, but I'll see y'all in my next video and I'm going to be posting another video tomorrow i'm not cat mind your business and let me talk to my people yo now he's trying to expose me but yo i'm gonna post another video tomorrow and i'll see y'all in my next one bye